35 weeks pregnant. Let's get into it. So I'm just getting ready. Um, and I'm going to talk to you guys while I get ready. Uh, just have a little girls chat. Um, some of you may know that I went through IVF to conceive uh, the baby that I'm currently carrying. We recently revealed to our community that it's a baby girl. Um, we are very excited about that. So yeah, just kind of what the journey has been like so far. Um, I, I think it'll be better if I make a more in-depth uh, video about our IVF experience, just because I'm sure we have some people in our community that would want to hear about that specifically. Um, and I'd like to go more into detail with that um, on another time. But as of right now, let me tell you, um, it's starting to kind of feel like first trimester all over again <laughs> for me um, now that I'm 35 weeks. I'm actually 35 weeks as of last Wednesday um, I'll be 36 in a few days, it's Sunday, the day of me shooting this. And I will say, I'm tired. Like, fatigued. Um, probably not as bad as first trimester. In the first trimester, I was dealing with a lot of uh, hormones and stuff from IVF. Um, this time, I'm, I think I'm more so tired from... Maybe my shortness of breath uh, from baby getting heavier, um, things like that. But overall, not even overall, I won't even say overall. We have had a very healthy pregnancy this entire time. Because I conceived the IVF at first, my OBGYN was wanting to um, make, make me high risk. Um, but we ended up not going that route. Everything went perfect. All my tests, yeah, I just lost a braid. <laughs> All my tests came back perfect. Um, and so, yeah, so he ended up not, uh, making me high risk, which is a good thing. So all of my appointments have been on the normal schedule. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as how I'm feeling. I went on maternity leave the beginning of this week just because I manage a financial institution um, and just getting out of the bed in the morning, having to go in, like I got to the point to where I could no longer be my best self. Mentally exhausted, physically exhausted. And I was like, okay, this isn't good for me. It's not good for baby. And then when you're showing up and you're not your best self in any in anything that you're doing, um, it's probably better not to, to to do it. So, I it was time for me to come home. I was overexerting myself mentally. That was probably the biggest thing for me. Um, then the lower pelvic pain starting to sound like a complainer video, but I'm just trying to let you guys know what I've been going through. Um, we had a couple of days ago a scare where we thought I was gonna, I was in labor. We thought I was active in, like I was actively in labor, and there's a video on our channel about that. Um, yeah, I started having contractions that were kind of close together. It felt like, and so we were like, "Hold on, this baby coming," because she's been measuring this whole time, like two weeks ahead. So, let me let y'all in on a little secret, which I haven't shared. I'm not sure about my due date. So, my IVF doctor gave me a due date of the 19th. My OBGYN gave me a due date on, of April 22nd. But my, my last ultrasound, my last ultrasound showed where baby was measuring two weeks ahead. I don't know when this baby's coming. I just go with April 19th because that came from my actual IVF doctor. Truth is, we don't know. You heard it here first. <laughs> we don't know. At least I'm not confident about it. And y'all, this is just a small, like, I'm no makeup artist. I'm no makeup artist. 
I just kind of know how to paint my face and make it look decent most days. So this is definitely not a tutorial video. Please don't try this at home. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, some other challenges I've, I've faced. Um, some of you may not know this, but I actually had weight loss surgery in October of 2020, which means I cannot eat a normal portion. So I have to be very um, intentional about what I eat, about taking my vitamins, which I have not taken today. Let me stop and do. Oh, this makes it like come out looking bad. This is what I've been taking. Prenatals. Derek stays on me about these. He's like, have you taken your vitamins? Have you taken your vitamins? And I'm glad he does, because sometimes I forget. I just take two a day. So, if you have, maybe if you have weight loss surgery, but prenatals are crucial. Anyway, but they're especially crucial when you have uh, weight loss surgery because you're already not able to eat the amount that you need to eat. So getting those vitamins in are very, very important. I used to be 100 pounds heavier. Maybe I'll insert some pictures so y'all can see. I still have a ways to go just to be my healthier self. For me, it's not even so much as about a particular size. It's about how I feel. Like, I want to feel good. I used to be, y'all, exhausted. My highest weight, I'm trying to find, I know what I deal with it. My highest weight was 389 pounds. 386 pounds, I think, is the highest I have a clock on scale. And I can tell you, I did not feel like my best my best self at all. There was never a day that I woke up and felt really great. Um, and besides that, it's not healthy. It's so far from healthy. So ultimately, I had weight loss surgery. It's one of the best decisions I ever made for myself, um, for my children. And I would do it over again a thousand times. But I did not, I didn't have uh, weight loss surgery with the intent to conceive. Um, but that probably, I know some people do, and it does help. Um, yes. Y'all, I really hope y'all aren't taking notes on this makeup. <laughs> this is kind of how I throw myself together and try to make myself look decent and presentable. I'm pretty sure some of you makeup gurus are cringing at me right now, but this is what I do to try to make myself look decent. But yeah, so we are 35 weeks in and I have an appointment next on the 24th, next Friday. Um, and then my doctor has ordered an ultrasound for me because he wants to see if baby is is head down, which I believe she is. I definitely believe she is. I think she's ready at any given moment. Like, I, it would not surprise me at any moment that I go into labor because I feel like this baby is about ready to come out. And I'm not even so much as rushing it. It's just I feel different. I don't really know how to explain it. It's just different from when I had my son. Like at, with Ace, I went over um, six days. I, I had him six days over his expected due date. So I don't know. With this little girl, I'm thinking she's gonna come earlier. Y'all, I fake it until I make it with this makeup thing. I definitely fake it until I make it. 
I don't even know if I ever make it, but um, we try anyway. So this is how I do my makeup, y'all. So. But yeah, any questions that you have for me, um, anything that you would like to know more about in any part of my journey, whether that's the BSG, um, the IVF, which I'll be, I'll be making more videos about that for sure. And yeah, I mean, anything, motherhood, marriage, that is why I'm here. That is why I'm documenting my journey as authentically as authentically as I can, um, because I I want to give information on things that I've been through that could possibly help the next person. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching today. See you soon.